let's fly.
the um, competent traffic departing. Yeah, we can uh, give them a competent traffic call now to say we are departing the circuit to the southwest because the weather does look doable that way. Okay, to the south. Shall I do it now? Yep. Constant traffic, Golf Bravo Delta, departing circuit to the southwest. Heading. 
Maintaining a good look out during the turn. Okay, we're coming to west now. Yep. Go back across now. All clear this way, so go back 90 degrees the other way. Okay, so the airspace around here is looking clear, nothing sighted. Okay, so I'm going to take control, demo your stall. As I said to you on the ground, I'm not going to recover this one, so I'm going to let the aeroplane just uh, develop a fully developed stall, okay. uh, just to show you what happens. Then we'll do the standard stall recovery, which is lower than those full power recover to a climb. Any questions? No, that's all good. Okay, right, so I'll, do, I'll be in control, but you can follow through on the controls to feel what I'm doing. So we're happy we're going that way. So I'm going to gradually bring the power back, but holding the uh, bit of more and more back pressure. You have to stop the airplane from descending. Okay. Spin the ball in the middle, see if we can. Okay. But don't concentrate too much on the instrument panel, we want to be looking around us. Okay, so the speed's coming back, we've got our low and decreasing airspeed, we've got the high nose attitude. Speed's coming back more and more. There's your stall water. Normally you could cover now at the first sign of the stall. Okay. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to hold that all the way back, uh, and here we go. Here's the nodding we talked about. It's okay. not a stall, is it? So it just sits here. Nodding away like this, <laughs> okay? You can see nothing horrible happens in a PA28 stall. That's all the way back. We can't do anything, and our SP is down to about 42 knots or something. If we were to lower the nose, it just unstalls. Go okay, up, pull it back, parking to the west. And it's stalling again. Okay, right. Lowering the nose, and it unstalls, okay? So that's an aerodynamic recovery, which we don't actually practice. So we're in the stalled position. Uh, lower the nose, more power get the airplane flying again, and then recover to a climb. Okay. I think we lost about 500 feet messing around there. Now we've recovered to a climb. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll let some, uh, we'll come back up to about uh, 3,700. We don't need to go all the way back up to 4,000. I'll let you have a go at one of those, but um, recovering when I say so. So I'll let you hold it in the stall for a bit. Um, but so recover when I say. Okay. Wait for the speed. There we go. 2300 RPM. Now between stalls, we don't do a full hazel check. We do what we call a hell check, which is an abbreviated check. So height is sufficient to recover by 3000 feet. Engine T's and P's are still good. I won't bother with the car piece for this one. Location is still good. We're clear of airspace, built up areas, cloud, danger areas. And we'll do a couple of lookout turns and end up heading uh, back towards Dorchester again. So if you turn us right to the right. Okay, just checking both ways. Yeah, yep. all good. And off we go. Okay, 
good. Right, if you want to turn us to the right, then we'll head um, west to avoid the danger areas that are in front of us. Okay. So there's our 
180 degrees coming up, so we'll carry on in the turn, but I'm going to start reducing power. Now you'll find you'll need loads of back pressure, otherwise the airplane will just descend in a spiral. Okay, so again, initially I'm not going to recover, so you see what happens. So there's a the stall warning, I'm not going to recover, we've got it in the, the stall in the turn, it's starting the buffeting now, so now I'm going to do the recovery, so it's lower the nose, full power, when the aircraft starts accelerating, you roll the wings level, and then recover to the climb. Okay, so now we're recovering to the climb, when we've got consistent uh, positive rate of climb, we can start getting rid of the flap, and then we'll level off again at, say, 4,000 feet, okay? Again, nothing horrible happens in these aeroplanes, and you can be nice and smooth. Uh, we're going to level off at 4,000 feet. Wait for the speed to come up to 90-95. That's really surprised me. I was expecting yeah. worse of it on the stall turn. Incredible. OK, so 2300 RPM, we're level at 4,000 feet. Right, you've got control. I have control. OK, so I'd like you to have a go at one of those then. Okay. And again, um, recover when I say so. OK, so we're going to hold it in the stall for a little bit on the first one. Uh, the second one, then we can recover at the first side of the stall. OK, OK, so again, a hell check. The uh, height? Uh, yes, we're uh, 3,000 above, at least. Um, engine, T's and C's are good. Suction is good. Uh, charging, do we want copy? No, we'll um, do that okay. a bit later. Cool, and then L. So... So the first L is our location, we are clear of airspace, we are clear of field up areas, we are clear of cloud, and we are clear of danger areas. OK, and the second L was... The second L is the lookout turn, lookout turn. Um, so we'll do a couple of 90s again this time, so do one to the left, and then in the second turn, go for two stages of flap, get it in trim, and then keep that turn going as we enter the stall. OK, okay. so left first. Yep. OK, it's clear. Heading well three one zero on 
both, so that's good. Okay, uh, altimeter. Do we do anything with that? Uh, no, just checking setting really. Well, we we know we're on the uh, Q and H at the moment, and we're at 3900, so that's good. Can't okay. go off. Right, so um, what we'll do then is we'll do another uh, approach configuration stall. Uh, this time though, I'd like you to recover at the first side of the stall. So again, that side of the stall corner on the buffeting. And I would suggest we end up heading back that way, away from this weather that's in front of us. I agree. Okay. Okay. So height is sufficient to recover by 3,000 feet. E, engine T's and P's are looking good. Location, we're still clear of airspace, built up areas, cloud, danger areas. And if you want to do us a couple of turns now, as I said, end up heading sort of zero, three, zero, something like that. Can I do a left turn first then? Uh, well, I'll do a right and then a left, okay. yeah. Yeah, it's coming in left, my goodness. Yeah. somewhere I think we'll be clear of the weather -ish. Yeah, that's looking good that way. And now in, uh, during this turn then, if you go for two stages of flat, so check your VFE, we are inside the white arc, two stages of flat, trim, trim, and then keep this turn going. Okay, okay. So, 30 degrees. And don't forget your, that's it, don't forget your flat. Oh, you shut the throttle off first then? No, you need flat first. Oh, first. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. we want to be in the, the, the approach configuration. So just give it a quick trim forward. Trim, 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 trim. Okay, keep the turn going. And now you can gradually bring the power back, maintaining your 30 degrees angle of bank. Now remember the back pressure, because you'll need quite a lot of that. Bit more and more back pressure, because it is starting to descend. Oh yeah. Ball in the middle here. Uh, recover at the first sign of the stall. Okay. There we go, so we go. Yeah, power, power, full power, yeah, level wing, level, recover to a climb. Recover to climb, now wait for a positive rate, which is now flaps down. And trim. Okay, so if we level off again now, 3800 is good enough before okay. we can climb any higher. So that's the first two types of stall we've looked at, the, the clean stall, the, uh, the stall in the approach configuration, now we're going to look at the stall in the finals configuration, okay. okay? So that's full flap. Now remember, uh, what we said is there is the same recovery, lower than loads, full power, except the next, there is an extra step, which is to uh, get rid of your drag flap. So it's lower than loads, full power, drag flap away, uh, recover then, when we've got a positive rate of climb, you can then get rid of the rest of the flap. Okay, so we'll do a hell check, height is sufficient, E engine T's and P's are still looking good, um, we'll do a car check on the next one. Uh, location is still good, we're clear of airspace, built up areas, cloud and danger areas. So if you want to do me a couple of 90 degree turns, one to the left and one to the right, okay, so look out turns, the left first. Then do the same again, in the second turn, if you go for two stages of flat, so check VFE, go for two stages of flat, get it in trim. But this time we are going to roll the wings level before we go into the next bit of the stall. Okay. Uh, okay, all looks good to the left. And right. Okay, do you want to do flaps now? Yep, two stages of flaps. Two stages of flaps. And do the trim, 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 trim. Right, I'm happy with those lookout turns. If you roll the wings level, I've got control. You follow me through. I'll demo the first uh, first all to you. Again, I won't recover, so you'll see the difference between the the uh, recover nodding basically. Okay, so I'm going to go for full flat now. Gradually bring the power back, and we're going to hold the nose to stop the airplane descending. And what you will notice is you will have a much lower airspeed now before it decides to bleep at you, less than 40 knots, okay, and I'm going to hold it in the stall, and you will find that the nodding is a little bit more pronounced, okay, so it does this, but again, nothing horrible happens, it's all the way back, amazing. it's doing like 35 knots and nodding its nose a bit, barely moving, okay, so, the recovery, 
is low the nose, full power, drag flap away, and then recover to the climb. Okay, okay. so we can see we're starting to recover. And then when we've got positive rate of climb, we can start getting rid of the flap. However, I'm not going to get rid of all the flap now because we want to do another one of those. So I'm going to lower the nose and I'm going to bring the power straight back to get it into a two-stage configuration. Okay, so height is sufficient. E, engine T's and P's are still good. Location is still good. We're clear of airspace, built up areas, cloud, danger areas. And we'll do a couple of lookout turns. You've got control now. Control. So if you do meet, well, I do a 180 degree to the left. Okay. So we've already got your two stages of that. So when you roll out of this uh, turn, we can go straight into the, the finals configuration stall. Again, recover when I say at the first one, and then we'll do another one where you can recover at the first sign of the stall. So if you go for the third stage of flap, and add the same again, gradually reduce power, putting more and more back pressure to stop the aircraft descending, and recover when I ask you. Roger that. Okay, so there's a high attitude, low and decreasing airspeed. Here comes the stall water, but I want you to keep it in the stall, so keep it all the way back. So there we go, we've got quite a buffeting going on, and here we go with the nodding. But as you can see, nothing is horrible happening, it just sits here wobbling about a bit. <laughs> okay, so recover, so, so low nose, full power, full power, drag flap away. Drag flap away. We've got airspeed, so now you can start recovering back to a climb. Back when we've got positive rate, your flaps can go. Okay, positive rate now. because it's starting to get cloudy on our right. So remember, top of climb, wait for your power, uh, wait for your speed before we bring the power back. Cool. Right, so we'll do one more of those. Uh, so it'll be a final configuration. So we'll do the hell check. During the lookout turn, I want you to go for two stages of flap. When you've rolled the wings level, go for the third stage of flap, and then into the stall, recovering at the first side of the stall. Okay, we'll do a 180 degree lookout turn shortly to end up facing north, okay. or heading north when we uh, do the stall. Okay, so height is sufficient. E, engine T's and P's are looking good, we won't bother with car feet this time. We are clear of airspace, we are clear of built-up areas, we are clear of cloud, and we are clear of danger areas. So now we can do the 180 lookout turn. I would go to the left so we avoid the dark looking stuff on our right. Okay. Right, okay, good look round. Yep, all good. Okay, so, air 
any questions? No, ah, that's really surprising actually. Okay, jolly good. Right, so we will head back to the airfield now. Um, which is over there, so if you want to turn us on to a heading of probably zero five zero, something like that. Zero five zero. Yeah. Okay. Just a bit of a guesstimate. Start a nice gentle descent. So for this descent, then we'll put the car heat on, leave it on for a few seconds, then we'll start a nice uh, cruise descent. To bring the RPM down to about 1800, 19, something like that. Do you want to do it now? Yep. Now if you want to give them a call to say rimbang from the southwest, requesting airfield information. Copter Radio Golf Bravo Romeo Bravo Delta incoming from the southwest requiring requesting airfield information. Uh, Bravo Delta, it's 26 right hand, the QFE is 975. 26 right hand, 975. Golf Bravo Delta. Okay, so either write that QN, uh, QFE down or set it now before you forget it. Yes. So 975. Okay, so we are basically descending, so we'll probably have to do a bit of a turn to get uh, down quick enough. We don't want to do a, a really quick descent, so if you turn us round to the right a bit and then we'll end up to do a 360 in the descent. 360, okay, so it's still at yeah. 050. Yeah. Okay, and then about every 500 feet, just bring the power back up, so just to warm, give the engine a bit of a warm through, so bring it up to about 2200 or something. Okay. Just to keep the engine nice and warm. Leave it there for about 5-10 seconds, and then bring it back down again. Just as a yeah. practice. Um, 
Just to get you more used to the recovery. Okay, it's 900, what do you yeah, want to do? Just bring the carpet off. Carpet off. Uh, 2300 RPM. And that should settle us down at 800 feet. Uh, so it's set at 23 and then go for straight and level now. So we're just coming up to the zero end of the runway and then we'll turn left a little bit shortly to avoid the village in front of us and then we'll join on the downwind leg. Roger that. Uh, I can see the wind sock. Delta final to land. Okay. Cox traffic, Golf Bravo Delta final to land. The wind is light and very 
available. Okay, so fly this approach, keeping those numbers roughly where they are in the windscreen all the way down. Looking good. Speed at 70 knots is good at this uh, point in the approach. When we get to about 300 feet, go for full flat, and that should bring your speed back to about 65 knots. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's 300 then, so I go for full flap and we're looking now for about 65 knots. Okay. And you can adjust the rate of descent with power still, so the speed as you can see is settled down to about 65. Yeah. And we're still keeping those 2-6 numbers in pretty much the same place in the windscreen Watch all the way down. down. Okay, so just keep them there in the windscreen. That's it. And then when we're clear of the trees, we can start easing the power right back. And what we want to do is not let the aeroplane land until it's doing about 50 knots, okay? So we just start flying it a bit level and then start raising the nose and just hold that there. Don't let it land, don't let it land, don't let it land, don't let it land. Hold that there. Don't, that's it. Okay. And don't cut his brakes. Well done. Oh. Okay, so we vacate the runway now, we're nice and slow. So go through the gap between the white things. Power. When we're clear of the runway, we can do the after landing checks, but I'll do those now for you. That goes on. That, stand by. That, okay. And we'll take it back to the fueling area now. Okay. Yeah, keep the back pressure. Round right to the left a bit. And then round right to the right. straight and stop parking brake goes on set 1200 rpm and then the shutdown checks cool that was awesome right so did you like this video if not why not hmm? if you did smash that like button and if you want to see more hit that subscribe button and don't forget to press that little bell icon so you get notifications of all my new uploads. I will try and get a video done every week, if not more. Fingers crossed.